Hello, welcome to the video, and today we are going to go through all of the secrets and how to unlock them in Ember Knight. So let's get into it right now. After you've completed a couple runs, you will unlock the compendium that's found over here. It is a book, and the first secret is a pretty simple one to find. You're going to go all the way over to the side here, and we get. it looks like this is the end of it, but it's not. We just go one more tab to the right, and that unlocks the first secret. And you can see here that we have a total of 14 secrets to discover, and we're going to go through them all now. The second secret is actually found in the main menu. You go to the credits, and there's a mini game in, in the credits that you have to complete. You'll spawn with a random weapon, some random power-ups, and you just go around and kill some stuff for uh, 30 seconds. So we'll do that. Unlock it. See how, see how high of a score we can get. Maybe not that good, but we'll, we'll do our best just for fun. While we're doing this, if you want to see more Ember Knights and other roguelikes, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's pretty much all we cover on this channel. Oh, we didn't even make it to 100. But there we go. We did the We're Doomed. We unlocked the Doom Shell Relic. The third secret requires you to have a fire skill so that you can burn an apple. We're going to do that here. There we go. We turn the apple into a pie. Secret four, we are going to do sharing is caring and you need to slice an apple pie. And it gives you a bunch of pie slices. For secret five, what you're going to need is you're going to need a fire skill and you need to use fire on a piece of meat to make it well done. So make it so that it gives more health. There we go. Now instead of giving 10 HP, that gives 20 HP. Secret six requires cooking a piece of meat twice. We've already got one that's cooked one time here. I did it during this fight actually. And now we're gonna cook it again to make it too well done. And that gets rid of it completely. Secret seven is a very simple one. All you have to do is smack Esper three times with whatever weapon you've got. A greater power, secret seven unlocked. And you'll see you get different things here, right? A special powder that unlocks a new outfit. Secret eight is completed in Arlen's shop. You have to destroy his sign. It's gonna start out as a wooden sign and you're gonna have to destroy it a few runs in a row and eventually he will make a bigger, stronger sign. And if we take out his sign there, he gets very mad. And there you have it, we get the Vandal one. For Secret 9, I'm going to use images and explanations. This one has changed since I first unlocked it. So I will do my best to explain it and hopefully it makes sense. Secret 9, you have to repair Bob's containment field. You will randomly encounter a glass vial at Arlen's shop for one gold. When you buy it, it's gonna break and a little green slime is gonna come out of it. In future runs, you might have the opportunity to go to a room called a shop where you will find Bob the Blob, and here you have to make an offering to him of one of your relics, and in return, he gives you a glass jar. After the run, when you return to the Nexus, you will talk to Esper, and then Esper is going to suggest that you talk to Arlen, and when you talk to Arlen, they will repair the jar and that will be the legendary relic Bob's Containment Field, and then you will have completed Secret 9. Secret 10 is unlocked in the Mimic King's room that will spawn randomly sometimes. Usually in the first area is where I find it. Uh, you're gonna have to find this record player next to the Mimic King, and we are going to have to smack it a bunch of times, not just a couple times. You're gonna have to hit it a lot. I don't know how many hits it takes, but we're gonna do it. and you'll break it eventually. There we go. I guess not that many, maybe 20 times. And there's Secret 10. Secret 11, the color of change. There are a couple different requirements that you need for this. First off, you need to have the Bomb Blast skill. So that makes this a little bit more difficult to get. Also, it's found in World 1, and it's this waterfall here with a cliff face, and you need to blow up the cliff face. 
that will open up a cave. And then you get the color of change on the inside. And you unlock the yellow ember dust. Now this used to be, and it might still be, this is my second save file. It, this secret used to unlock the ember pit itself at Nexus. I'm unsure if that's how it still works on your first save file or not. Secret 12 is the Sleepy King. After you go through and you, face, you see the Mimic King several times, you're going to encounter him where he's sleeping. The game is still going to trigger with the chests. If you go and hit the chest, if you pick a chest here, it will wake him up and you will not unlock the secret. So if you don't want to do that, you want to go over, you want to give him a smack, wake him up. The chest will disappear, you won't get anything, but you will unlock the secret. Defeat 10 chests. We'll do that just for fun. You can get quite a bit of loot out of this little uh, mini game, actually. And that is how you do that one. Secret 13 is completed in the portal room after the second boss. You can see over here, there's a little guy hiding behind this ice pillar and you've got to break the ice pillar. Now I've already accidentally done this one and unlocked it for this in this uh, save file, but we're gonna do that anyway. That, that would unlock the little guy when we, when we go in here. He's hiding from us. That's how you do that one. Secret 14 is another one that you can accomplish in the main hub. All you have to do is go over to one of the stewards and hit your action button on them. For me on controller, it's my RB button. You have to hit that a few times. Charge them up. And there we have it. Newton's Law is complete. And that, my friends, is it for the video. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know in the comments anything else you want to know from this game or anything you want to see. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.